Hey you guys, welcome back to another episode. My name is Sandra. I hope you're all doing okay. It's been a minute. Um, but yeah, I'm back, I think. A friend of mine sent me this link a couple days ago, actually. She was like, Sandra, girl, mm-mm, this is right up your alley. Um, I want you to absolutely do a reaction video to this. It's like an hour long video. Um, but I'm not obviously going to do all of it. I'm just going to, you know, react just to a tiny tiny portion of the video but anyways we're gonna jump right into this video and i'm gonna be reacting with you guys i guess you could say that um and i as i always say don't forget to like this video share it subscribe to my channel please if you haven't already done that and thank you to every single one of you who has taken the time to subscribe to my channel watched one of my videos or all of them and actually you've left comments and shared the videos Thank you, thank you so much. You guys make this whole thing worth it. Okay, you guys, are we ready? Let's get let's get right into this. It's about to be interesting. Okie dokie. So the title, as you can see on the screen, is Can 25 Liberal College Students Outsmart One Conservative? If I know Charlie, I'm gonna say no. But I could be I could be, you know, I could be wrong. That's why we're doing this reaction video, isn't it? Alright, here it goes. Hello everyone, I am Charlie Kirk, founder of Turning Point USA, and uh, I am surrounded by 20 woke college kids. My first prompt is, abortion is murder and should be illegal. Okay, hello, Hi, what's your name? Juliana. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet Can you. Can we get our terms right first? Yeah. Okay, abortion is the forcible ending of the viability of a being in utero, otherwise known as a fetus. Do we agree that's what abortion is? Okay, yeah. Okay, great. And then murder is the intentional taking of life different than killing or sudden death. So murder would be the intent with intent taking another life. Do we agree with that? Okay. Okay, and then we agree that murder in general in society should be illegal. Yeah. Okay, great. So yeah, no, I do want to press. Can I just say that I love how he's just laying the grounds? Like, okay, these are like truths that we cannot disagree on, right? And I just, I love it because I think he's, he's smart to do that because he's going to go back to those, you know, foundations that he laid before the debate. First, that I'm a Catholic. Okay. So I think one really important thing that the Bible says is to not judge. And just going back to the topic, um, I think there's a big difference uh, between, you know, cells in utero than a living, breathing, existing being. And while um, I do believe it's murder, and that's just my personal belief, right? I don't believe in telling people what to do with their bodies. That's not up to me, and it's not up to us. Okay. This just reminds me of Romans chapter 1. Romans chapter 1 verse 32, and this is what it says. And although they know the ordinance of God that those who practice such things are worthy of death, they not only do the same, but they give hearty approval to those who practice them. So my point is this, it's so easy to say, you know, I'm a Christian, but I don't want to judge, or I'm a Christian, but I don't want to, I don't feel like I should be telling people how to, you know, live their lives or what they should believe in, things like that. It's a very slippery slope, because what you're doing is that you don't practice those things, but you're giving hearty approval to those people who do those things. Again, I might be wrong, but like you have the comment section to deliberate and tell me what you think about this point exactly. And now we're going to go back to the video. I'll try not to stop every five seconds, okay? Should we prevent murder in society? For sure, yeah. And, and I it mean, should be illegal. But I think that it's really different, right? Because, you know, these people... Okay, so another part of the whole process is that when you don't agree with how the 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 college student is i guess argumenting her views you raise the flag to say that you would like someone else to take her place that's kind of rude she's been there for like two seconds how many weeks do you think that a fetus is viable well viability and moral worth are two different things no but i'm asking you at how many well, weeks yeah, do you well think at about a fetus 20 weeks oh, a baby can survive eight, outside of right, utero right so it's actually the, 24 to 26 well, it's weeks 20 the youngest ever in a NICU unit actually happened in San Diego not far from here and was survived at 20 weeks okay so under Roe v Wade 93 percent of abortions oh, happened in the first 13 weeks of pregnancy that's 93 percent of the abortions happened 
well before a fetus is technically viable for, for as sure. a form so of let, life. So let's go into viability. So what is it about, let's say, a six-week baby that has a heartbeat, its own DNA, fingerprint, brain waves, that is less moral worth than an 88-year-old right now with dementia in a home down the street? That person requires assistance, requires help. What, what, why is it that the six-week baby is of less moral worth? Well, first of all, it's not a baby, it's a fetus. Well, what does fetus mean? A fetus is in utero. What does fetus mean in Latin? What the f***? I'm sorry, is this it, a it means, language class? It means little human being. Ooh, this smile is very creepy. Okay. Um, oh, s <laughs> smiling is creepy? No, your smile specifically. Got it. But let's go back so, to, so, we're losing track here. No, but, but is, what, what species is the fetus? The fetus is not a species yet. It's technically classified no, as a parasite no, no, no. Oh, until it oh, is wow. viable. So, now, I want well, to talk to you about wanna, something I, very I, quickly. I can't really get past that. Are you I'm saying, saying a baby is a Well, yeah, that's the thing, though. Like, whatever argument you have, whether you're pro-abortion or anti-abortion, you're arguing that the, the, the baby, which is what a fetus means, doesn't have, I guess, the right to, to, to exist because they are not viable or they're in the belly and, like, but if you don't even define, if you cannot define what a, a fetus is, I think that just kills your argument from the very get-go, right? I mean, that's my view. Because you have to be able to define your terms. Can we just say how disrespectful um, today's generation is? I mean, it's just really annoying. Like, even though you don't agree with what someone is saying, but you don't want to be disrespectful. You're expressing your views, you have the right to do that. Don't be you know, rude about it. Just a baby, before it is viable, cannot survive outside of a woman's womb. Got it, so let's, extra Therefore, let's extrapolate that. it are, is not a living organism. Are, are, are old people with Alzheimer's and dementia that are being assisted every day, are they parasites? No, they're not oh. parasites. They're human beings who are on the brink of death. Got it, so my six, they're not going to be my four survive. month old that requires mom's breast milk and requires daily changes and feedings cannot survive without its own is my four-month-old a parasite. Your baby can breathe on its own. Your baby can drink water from its mouth to its stomach. But, but it cannot, Your baby can, can, it, can eat it hunt, food. can it gather, can it reason? But that's not what qualifies something oh, as being okay. a living so let's, organism. Let, let, then being let's a living organism terms. simply means, can you survive outside of a womb, but, outside of your host? Got it, so I just wanna make sure I'm clear. Why does that then equate to moral viability? It equates to scientific viability. Why? Under what standard? Because it is not alive, and you oh, are advocating for the rights of something that is not technically a life. Got it. So what is, is something while that has sacrificing a the needs of the human woman who is alive? Got it. So, but a, a, a mom can survive. Yes. Without the baby in her. Uh huh. Right. Yes. The baby cannot survive without the mom. Yes. But a mom cannot survive without her lungs. So it's not her body. It's in her body. It's not yeah, her DNA, so it's not her choice. So it's a. He's gonna win. I'm telling you. This 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 could take a while. Okay, first of all, there's do we have our terms correct? We agree. Actually, no. So first okay, of all, I'd like to refine our terms. Oh, I have two it. points to bring up after that, though. So you define murder as like intentionally like killing a human being. Mm -hmm. I think that's a very poor way to define murder because if someone were to like break into my home and point a gun at the heads of me and everybody I love, and I intentionally kill them to prevent them from unalive from killing my family, I don't think I murdered them, right? So I would define murder as the unjustified termination of a human life. You're making a good point. Let me further clarify that. Okay. So okay. self-defense is right. very warranted. Exactly, right? But I, I can see where you're going to go with how that has to go with abortion, but we, we can go down that yeah. journey in a second. Yeah, so I mean, like, I, I, I kind of do want to give you my argument insofar as why I'm pro-choice, why I think it's justified. Mm -hmm. But first, I think that, you know, your position is quite absurd, right? Because you're saying that it is murder to kill a human being, right, at any point in development, especially when it's in the mother's womb. My question to you would be, well, does this make women with IUDs murderers? Because it is the case that in some scenarios, an IUD will allow for conception to occur, meaning there's a unique human life there, but it will prevent its implantation intentionally killing it. Well, no, preventing implantation is not necessarily the same thing as terminating a fertilized egg. For example, if you take plan B, for, again, it's not, it's not the same thing. Preventing the production of progesterone is not the same thing as terminating a, fully, a, a being that has been fertilized. You do not know for a fact that the egg has been fertilized. You do not know that when even IUD. Okay, yeah, so preventing uh, fertilization or implantation to the uterine lining is killing a conceived zygote. So what happens? A sperm goes into the egg, right? The egg becomes fertilized. It's a conceived zygote. And skin, we can absolutely argue against abortion from a moral standpoint, 
but we can also argue against abortion from a biological standpoint. Um, I think Ben Shapiro does a fantastic, absolutely phenomenal job just explaining why it is necessary to have a scientific argument against abortion. Understand when life begins, okay? Not to say that as Christians we shouldn't argue from a moral, biblical standpoint, but I'm just saying that it can just be, um, I guess, put off as, okay, you're a Christian, I'm sure you're anti-abortion because you're a Christian. Well, mm, not exactly. I'm not anti-abortion just because I'm a Christian. You see what I'm trying to say? Because I, I know that there are biologists who are not Christians, but they would hold to the pro-life argument. So but, do you think you all murderers should go to jail? Do I think all murderers should go to jail? I mean, on the third on third degree murder. However, no, I don't think women that got abortions or had IUDs should go to jail because I think that they have been deceived by mass culture and mass, mass propaganda. Secondly, the people who should go to jail are the abortionists, who are the ones that have been putting the abortion pill, the ones that have been doing procedures, the ones that have been going into the third trimester and breaking babies' yeah. backs and inserting them happen. with syringes like while the babies are crying right and suffocating, being you born alive, and then being dead on the operating table. Okay. That is who should go to jail. Oh. That was actually the best point somebody made. We'll have to, we'll have to talk I you know what I'm going to say? I've noticed something. So remember that the people who are, you know, in this circle, they're all, I guess, pro-choice, you know, they that's your stance when it comes to the issue of abortion, right? See how even within that pro-choice stance, they disagree on so many basic things. Hello, how are you? Hi. What's your name? Deedin. Nice to nice meet you. Nice to meet you. Um, I would say with abortion, I think uh, it's it's very complicated. But I think the issue that I have, primarily with your stance of being pro-life, that there's no nuance. Um, there's women who are being forced to travel hundreds of miles to access abortion care. Even in cases of rape in certain states, that they're, they're not giving any sort of um, allowance for that. And let's be honest, okay, he's, he's like spot on. Like a, a lot of people have the same stance. They don't 100%... Um, disagree with abortion because they understand or I guess they, they think that if a woman was you know abused she should have the right to terminate that you know um, pregnancy because she didn't want the baby in the first place and I think it's very big of him to actually point that out um, and I, I also think it's funny that they're all raising their flags and he hasn't even finished his question or argument yet how rude and I think, um, you know, a lot of people who are pro-life, they, they say that they're pro-life, but I feel like they're really pro-birth because, in, you know, with firearms, uh, the United States has some of the hi highest firearm deaths um, out of OECD nations, right? And we can acknowledge that that's for children who are actually living and breathing. Um, so I feel like abortion, while yeah, it is, I can, I can definitely see your point. I, I just think that it, it should be allowed in some circumstances. Okay, so Boys, how many abortions do you think we have every day in America? I'm, Just guess. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Guess. I, I'm, I'm honestly not sure. Maybe, I don't Which know, a thousand? Four thousand a day. Again, so it is kind of willy We have 1.6. Oh, goodness. I'm getting it now. But think about it for a second. If you, There is no way you have 4,000 abortion in a country in one day, and that is not really many. Like, that is seriously proper sex education limiting abortion and making abortion illegal does not actually decrease the amount of abortions so that happen. So what is your evidence of that? What is my evidence of that? Because we, we have increased sex education in the last 30 years. We've had, we no, have, our sex education is so bad in America. Well, by bad, what do you mean by that? We have, we have zero, more access to birth to control clear. for young kids. We have more kids that are learning to use birth control at a younger age. We have more of that in our public school system. And we've seen all the trends actually go in a negative direction. So in fact, we see that the more sex education there is, the, the more disturbing those trends are. So you say that, let me ask just one more thing. Mm -hmm. You say that if we make abortion illegal, people Argue will still it. do it. Should Argue we then just make it. gang violence legal because No, I'm saying if you it? actually wanted to decrease the amount of abortions that happen, you wouldn't be advocating for, like, to make abortion illegal. You'd be advocating does for all of these other things. Does that logic apply to stealing, looting, kidnapping, arson, and murder? Well, actually it does because those are results of different societal okay, so, issues so, that you should be educating so yourself on make, rather than making it so illegal we should on make, the front. Can we, should we make kidnapping, arson, burglary, murder <laughs> legal because they're symptoms of something else? We should be f helping society heal from no, those you gotta things. you got to answer the question. We want less of those things. Should we just make them legal and we'll get less looting? You know, 
Actually, I'm gonna let someone else. Thank do. you very much. I'm very appreciative of what Charlie is doing. He's engaging the youth. He's going out there, out of his way to to listen to what they have to say, and hopefully correct the many wrong teachings they've received their entire lives. You know, like you gotta come from a place of grace and and just wanting to 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 pour out truth into these people. So yeah. You avoid the topic and you say something that is uh, adjacent or symmetrical to what I'm saying, but not actually what I'm saying. You mean a so reductio out of certain? That's, that's not a red herring. A six to eight week baby, if they're allowed to continue to develop, what Have ends up happening? Any of his? But he answered your question time and time again. First with the pedophiles, like obviously. He's like, you want them to go to prison. I want them to be dead. That's how serious I take that, number one. Number two, you're going about saying, um, should women who... Um, you know, have abortion, should they go to jail? He already answered that question if you were listening. So, honey, you're very narcissistic. You're not listening to your point. You just want to get your point across, which is very, very ridiculous if you think about it, okay? You're not listening to me, but you only want me to listen to you. It doesn't work that way. Conversations, it's not a monologue. You're not talking to yourself, okay? Secondly, sorry, third, he answered that question time and time again. He said, the women who get abortions should not be perse persecuted. They should not be in jail. Right? Because think about some of the reasons most women get abortions is because they think that, okay, the life of the child growing in my belly has no value. It's not even a life. You guys said it's a, it's a clump of cells or whatever, which is ridiculous. The people who, the abortionists, the people who provide those services, they should be the one going to jail. Are we clear now? Um, so I just have one question. There's, like, in any case, you don't think there's any case where abortion should be legal? There's a very, very rare couple cases. Okay, so you do where, think that a couple second. cases hold it on. is legal? If, if, if cesarean section is not going to save the mother's life, and the mother's life is actually at risk, which is debated amongst growing numbers of OBGYNs, okay. that is the only case where abortion should be, should be allowed. It is a growing consensus in the pro-life world that abortion is never medically necessary. Okay, so if... You had a daughter and she was 10 and she got raped. And she was well, gonna I, give birth I, I and she would, no wait, oh, and she was gonna give birth and she was gonna live. Would you want her to go through that and carry her well, that's awfully, baby? That's awfully graphic. I one, stand corrected. There is I, one recorded case of a okay, five-year-old girl corrected. who gave I, birth. Is that, is, that, is that common? Yes, uh, not common. It's common five-year-olds get sometimes and it's, okay, if I, they get pregnant, I get think they should be able to have medical access. How many, how many, I'm curious. How I many, hope your daughter lives a very happy life and gets away from you. Oh my okay, so that is really nasty. And we're going to stop the video. Just first part, but I am 100% sickened to my stomach after watching that. I wasn't expecting that at all. I mean, I've heard people online, you know, talk about what they hold dear to their hearts and just spew hate. But that was on another level to wish that on someone just because they don't see life and whatever from your lenses is just really sickening. Wow. That's all I'm going to say. Um, again, thank you to people like Charlie. Like, I know he has a huge support system. As a Christian, I know his faith is founded in the Bible and he trusts the Lord to use him for his glory. And I know he has a huge team behind him who loves and prays for him. But wow, you guys, like, it's okay to not have the same viewpoints. Like, it's okay to not see life the same way. It's like, that's okay. But that gives you no right whatsoever to wish that on someone else. And I hope that girl reflects on what she said and how she behaved. And the fact that the other people, or well, some of them, I think, were clapping, applauding that. It's just sad. Well, there you guys have it. That's my reaction. That was 25 minutes, 20 minutes of the video. Um, I'm obviously, um, I think I'll try to do to react to the, to, to, to the remaining part of the video. Maybe just put that in like different videos and instead of just rolling out one video that's like three hours long. 
but yeah let me know what you think in the comment um section i i seriously want to i i mean i'm really interested in reading what you guys think about this um if you agree with charlie's um points if you agree with the college students points just let me know and do not forget to like this video subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done that and obviously share it as well thank you guys and i'll see you in the next one have a good day now bye